What stories were you told as a child? Nursery rhymes, folk tales, myths. There are characters we recognize across media. Illustrations, musicals, books, video games. The same tropes, relationships, and plot points can be found in timeless tales across the world. How long have these stories been told? How far have they traveled? How many times have they been reinvented? These tales have been shared and reshared for centuries, even millennia. So when we come up with new stories and ideas, how can we share them with others? Let's unpack media ownership in a digital age. This is ASU. Remixing existing media is common in music, but also widely in video and images, design, and code. This technique has become more widespread in recent years, as access to media and creating and editing tools has become widespread. The idea of sharing your own media that you make to let others remix and remake is called open licensing. The most common form of open licensing is called Creative Commons. So how can you find media that's licensed for your use? And how can you contribute your work for others to share? First, we need to know about licensing and copyright. As a society, we've decided that we value intellectual property. We believe that ideas have value and ownership. So we protected ideas and we called it copyright. Copyright is the set of rules that give exclusive rights to the copyright holder to distribute, make copies, and sell the work they have made, whether it's a book, or a movie, or a song, or a video game, or a video, or a painting, and many others. Licensing is the set of guidelines for how others can use the creative work. The copyright holder gets to decide on a license. They decide how others will use their work. In remixing, we want to give creators the option to share their work without being worried that their intellectual property is going to be stolen or that their work is going to be used in ways that they don't approve of. For example, I have created some of my own media, lots of audio recordings specifically, and like many creators, I want to maintain copyright. But I also would actually prefer to be able to share them widely so that students and makers and artists can use the sounds to learn and create and make their own work. So I need a way to protect my intellectual property while posting the work on the internet to share. Thus enter Creative Commons. Creative Commons is a set of licenses that are easily understandable and that anyone can easily use with no barriers. Just say that your work is Creative Commons, and it is. There are several Creative Commons licensees with varying degrees of openness. Basically, it comes down to three things. Commercial or non-commercial use. Do you want other people to be able to get paid for using your work? Next, derivatives. If someone does take your work, do you want them to leave it as is? Or can they take it and remix it in some way? And lastly, this idea of share alike, which means that if they do make a derivative, they should release it under the same open license that you did. So this prevents them from taking it, tweaking it, making a derivative, and then releasing it under a more restrictive license. One feature they all share is the idea of attribution. When you use a Creative Commons media, you must give an attribution, also called a citation, to the author, no matter what license they've chosen. Because Creative Commons is widely adopted, there are many sharing websites available that have the option of posting your work with a Creative Commons license. All you do is upload your work, choose a license, and you're done. If you share on a website that doesn't have that built-in function, you just have to cite your work wherever it's posted with your name, the work's title, and the Creative Commons license that you choose. To borrow the work of others, you find a site that hosts media with Creative Commons licensing. Once you have your media that you want to use, you need to cite the title and the author of the work, and also the license that it's licensed under. So, 
Just like the fairy tales and stories you might have been told as a child, creative ideas can be reused and repurposed. People have always been storytellers and driven to share their ideas. The digital context is no different, but it all has to be done in the right way, with attribution, so creators get credit for their unique content. In this way, we continue sharing, and the stories will live on. This was ASU. Thanks for watching.